All right, I'm going to make a quick video about how to replace or exchange the handle on your mills slot machine. And that doesn't matter if it's a high top or a regular machine. It's pretty simple, pretty much the same thing. So I just grabbed a late 1940s, early 1950s mills high top, and I will show you how to change your handle. The first thing you do, it's pretty, pretty easy. You know, if you have never removed the back, go ahead and remove your back door. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the bonnet. How you remove the bonnet is on each side, there's these little tabs. You want to lift that tab up, and on this side, lift that tab up. And then what you want to do is you want to hold the bonnet in the middle and just pull straight back. So that's how you remove the bonnet. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the mechanism. To remove the mechanism, there's a lever on the right side, which you need to flip up, a lever on the left side that you need to flip up, and then what we need to do is we need to pull the mech out. To pull the mech out, grab the middle of the bar back here, the Johnson bar, lightly lift up, and just slide it straight back. And that's how you remove the mechanism. If you look inside your mills case, there is a spring there and a hub for your handle, and then you have this little tab here, a lot of people don't know what that's for, but if you pull the handle really fast, this will actually come out and engage the teeth so you don't so you don't damage your slot machine. But what we need to do is we need to remove that. So you can leave this spring on. Sometimes I find it easier just to remove this spring. And the only tools we will need to do this is a crescent wrench and some cleaner. So once you get the spring off, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to take that bolt off right there, which is an old school bolt. And uh, let me grab my crescent wrench. Just take your crescent wrench, get it loose, get your spring out of the way, and just take that off. Now one thing to remember is if you're using a club style handle, it will use a different bolt, nut and bolt. So we'll save that, and then once you get that off, this little hub comes straight off. We'll set that there, and then there's a bolt in the center, which will leave that. If you pull the handle straight out, that is how you remove your old handle. And what we're going to do is we are going to install a club-style handle. What a club-style handle is, is it is a longer, either usually 12, 14, or 16 inches. This one has got a straight handle on it but sometimes they come with a little angle on it. But before we put a new handle in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it. A lot of times, all you have to do is take a rag, and inside here, I'll show you a little closer, inside here is a hub, and a lot of times it has old grease in there. So what I like to do is I just like to take a paper towel and clean that out. If the machine is not used regularly or has old, old stuff on it, what you can do is you can spray a little I use carb cleaner. You can use brake cleaner. Spray a little of that in the hub and then just take it and wipe it out. And if the grease, grease is really old, you can use like 3M or some emery cloth and you just want to clean that hub up and get the grease around the outside. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the old the handle. So when you look at the handle, you notice it's different. So from instead of the bolt coming from the outside in, a club handle has a screw or bolt that goes from the inside out. So make sure if you buy a club handle, always try to get a lock washer and a bolt to go with it. And what I like to do is some of the old school guys use different types of grease. But when I grease a handle, I use a wheel bearing grease. And you just put a lightly amount of grease on here. And you just want to make sure you get it all around nice and smooth. Sometimes you can do the inside hub, but if you put a nice generous amount on here, you don't have to do that. And just take your tape or paper towel, wipe off the extra, and then you go ahead and put the handle back in. And when you put the handle back in, if you want, if you want to look at this plate here, it's got two notches on it. It's got a wide side and a narrow side that correspond with the handle. So what I like to do is just set this in here together, line up those two notches just like that hold your handle because mind you your spring is not attached so it'll want to fall down the other thing you want to remember 
is the linkage for your pump is right here, and that connects to the bottom here. You want to make sure you put that in there. So grab your bolt that contains your lock washer, thread that in the center here of your club handle, and you go. You want to have them tighten that down. Get your finger tight. And like I said, it does have a lock washer. Grab your crescent wrench, or if you want, you can use a regular socket and a wrench. I just find that a crescent wrench for 90% 90 of things on a slot machine is all you need. And you just want to tighten that down. So it's pretty tight. Like I said, it's got the lock washer there. You're not going to over tighten it. And then what you do is you just want to make sure that moves nice and free. And then it's the Next thing you want to do is you want to take your spring that you took off and you want to reattach it. So if you look in the front of the handle hub here, there's a little hook. You want to put that hook in there and you want to stretch it and put it on your screw up here. And then just want to do it a couple times to make sure it comes back nice. You can always adjust the screw on the back here, which is the screw to adjust your pump to have it either come back faster or a little slower. So it moves pretty good. Little or no resistance, that's what you want. If you ever pull a handle without the mechanism in there and you feel a little bit of a dragging, that means you have old grease in there. So once we've got the new club handle in there, we want to grab your mechanism again, grab it by the middle. You want to slide it in. And the number one thing you do when you want to slide it in is you want to make sure up here, this little hook here goes on top of the advance bar for your your escalator and then we want to put these tabs down put this tab down we want to grab the bonnet again you put the bonnet just hold it in the center put it up like that make sure these two go down grab your back door and that is how you replace the handle on a Mills slot machine. And I appreciate you guys looking at it, and I want to say thank you to my cameraman, Liam, who does a great job. Thank you.